your state champion, 126 pounds of Delmar Ryan Gator. Last few months I didn't really know because beginning of the season I didn't know where I was going. Uh, I thought I was going to go 120, I ended up going 126, and it was kind of like, let's just see how we do it. I didn't, I didn't even think, think about the city. I was like, let's get through the first tournament, BC is the first tournament. Uh, you know, I had a pretty good tournament there. I ended up losing the semis to Sammy Spalding, you know, it's obviously the one sitting back there. Um, but ever since then, I just, you know. I really dedicated myself to this sport. It's really worked hard to get to this. Well. I'm from Washington, New Jersey, Warren County. Warren Hills guy. Yep. Was it ever in doubt? Like anyone out there, were you expecting this or? You know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely confident. I knew, I told myself I was going to win. I was never like cocky about it, but I knew I was going to win. At what point could you say you felt that this was your tournament? Um, I'd say mid-season, you know, things really started to change in my wrestling. Uh, my my work ethic in the practice room changed when I knew I could win. Uh, so yeah, that's that mid-season. How big is the wrestling room to help you? Uh, it's, it's great. Uh, being in the room with guys like Alessio, being in the room every single day, just push you to get better. You know, my coaches stole Frost. Dean, Dungey, all those guys, they're great. So easy to get better. Now I asked Cameron earlier, you, you guys were a part of the probably the best freshman class to go to Del Barton, yeah. that's saying a lot. Yeah. You guys winning titles here, you and Cameron and everybody else representation, how does that pose for the future of Del Barton wrestling? Oh, I think it's great, I think it's really eye-opening for all the other people, being like, damn, these kids are good, so it's really cool. So. I think they knew you were good. <laughs> tough to win here as a freshman. I mean, even guys like Jaden and Alessio didn't do it, so how were you able to just kind of put it all together? Um, you know, like talking to those guys about it, just keeping myself calm, not getting, not over, overdoing anything, just, you know, trying to keep my composure and know that I definitely can win, so, yeah. You dominated, like, this whole tournament. Have you felt comfortable here the whole time? I felt really comfortable this whole time. I'm not going to lie, before, you know, I wasn't nervous this whole tournament. Um, I was sitting in my hotel room before this for the finals, I was thinking about it a little bit. It was a little, a little nerve wracking, but you know, I talked to those guys and everything's good. Which guys? Uh, like Alessio. Okay. The guys uh, who've done it, Vin Sergio. Yeah, guys who've done it. One under the spotlights as they're running out to the mat, just getting all that in your head. Yeah. You, you know, when you look at the other tournaments you've been in, you've been in some big tournaments, Beast, you know, Power, you know, what can you say, how does this compare to those? Uh, nothing's, nothing's like World War Call. I mean, the atmosphere is crazy. Uh, but Beast and Power are definitely up there, but. This is a whole nother level. A whole nother level. Thank you. I the kid that was the 16 seed. I mean, I know. I have to think of facing somebody that's kind of a little bit of an underdog coming in. I mean, I've known Seeds for a while. He's always been tough. We wrestled, we wrestled a bunch, so I knew seeding never really matters. So I know how to go out there and still do the same thing. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's been my strong suit this whole season. Was top, grinding out on top. And, where were you at this time last year? I mean, eighth grade, but like where in the wrestling world? Um, like, what do you, what do you mean? like, where did you come and watch? Oh yeah, I came to watch. Like, tell me about all that. I came to watch the other freshman game Logan. Um, you know, we came here, we were sitting in the stands, and we were watching the finals. Like, damn, I hope this is us next year. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Congratulations.